Welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. I am Kani Reza and I am here to demonstrate day three on our unit on insects. This has been an exciting unit. Now how do we start a science lesson? Of course, novelty. The children love novelty. So the first thing I do is bring on my novelty, which I have been showing for the whole week. And I would ask the children, what is this? And of course, the first thing they're going to say is, that's an ant. Because by now, this is the third day, they will be ready to answer an ant. That's right. So let's look at the word ant. A-N-T. Let's spell it out. A-N-T. Remember, every word we spell it out for the sake of the children to connect to the print, to connect to the words, and of course, the vocabulary. After we looked at our novelty, let's review. So we're going to review everything. And when you're reviewing, make sure that every word has a question. This is inquiry-based science. Remember, how many legs does an insect have? Six. How many parts, body parts, does an insect have? Three. Okay. So what else does an insect have? Eyes. Very well. And what are those little things attached to the head? Antenna. So everything turn it into a question when you're reviewing. After the review, of course, comes in our specific objective. Today, we are going to observe and identify the cycle of the insect. Now, what would be the best way to observe the cycle of the insect? I have to get the children ready into that mode. So let me show you what we're going to do as an engagement today. I have some mealworms here, and these are very easy to keep. You can buy them at a pet store, and of course you can keep them in the refrigerator for a long, long time. As soon as you take them out, they start waking up. It's amazing how they're able to stay in the refrigerator. And of course, the stage of, of my insects here is the mealworm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give every child or uh, actually groups of two children because I want that interaction between children. I, I really enforce also, instead of just individual, I also like for them to have another person there and for them to compare with each other the answers and compare the observation. So I'm going to give every, every group of two children a mealworm, a pair of tweezers, and of course, the magnifier, right? So the children will get their, their uh, mealworm, and this is just a lid, a, a, little, uh, a lid from a, from a container, as you can see here. Uh, because this way the little the mealworm cannot get out with the ed, through the ed, on the edges. So the children will sit on the floor with their magnifier in their hand and the tweezers and they'll sit there and observe with the hand lens. And while they're observing, of course, they are using the uh, sight, which is the occipital lobe. They are also touching. They might want to smell it, and of course they're going to get near and see if they can hear the mealworm make any kind of noise. So as they're observing, I'm going to ask them, okay, what are you observing? What are the details? What color is the mealworm? And I'm going to keep emphasizing, how many legs does the mealworm have? Look, at, look for the head. Look for the tail. How many body parts does it have? So this observation is the main, main, most important part of our lesson because it's the engagement. Children are actually involved and here they're learning through the engagement. So the next part of my lesson will be what did you learn from your observation? And of course they're going to say, oh, that was a mealworm. And the mealworm was brown. It was long like a little worm. And, of course, all of that I continue to add to my chart. And like I mentioned earlier, our chart needs to be a little bit bigger. I'm just using a small one for a demonstration purpose. Well, today, we're going to see how this little mealworm got, in, got here. First of all, 
the very so we're gonna look at the cycle the cycle and I'm gonna write it right here cycle of insects I N S E C T insect the cycle of the insect what is the very first thing how does an insect get here of course we have the egg the very first thing is the egg of the cycle of the of the insect now is the mealworm an insect constantly constantly ask questions a lot of children may say no the mealworm is not an insect it's a little worm well guess what the little worm came out of an egg so let's spell egg e g g egg so here's the little egg that came that's how the mealworm got here from the egg now it goes into the larva that looks like a little worm right so let's spell larva l a r v a larva and the children can actually see it here what it looks like and now from the larva where is it going to to the pupa and all of these vocabulary cards are in your ebook and they're going to be in english and in spanish so um so you you'll have your cards there immediately to use them so now it goes into the pupa let's spell pupa p a p i mean p u sorry p u p a p u p a p let's spell it right here p u p a pupa and children love to see you spelling it because i have seen them go back into their journal and they'll be drawing and they will be spelling out P-U-P-A, which is fascinating to see that. Now from the pupa, it goes into the insect. And of course, I use insect and I, I could have used beetle because of course, the mealworm from the pupa, it turns into the beetle. So this is going to be the pup the mealworm is actually a beetle. But I'm just going to put insect because we're looking at the cycle of insects, the life cycle of insects. So let's spell the word insect. I N S E C T insect. So let's review. How many stages does an insect have for it to get here as a real insect? It has to go through four stages. One, two, three, and the final one is the fourth one. Uh, now, after we go into this information, in this information they gather from their engagement, now let's move into our literacy. We haven't introduced our literacy yet, right? So the, the book that I would recommend is Grub to Ladybug. This is a great book by Melvin and Gilda Berger. Very colorful, very bright, and, and very detailed, uh, especially for small children, pre-K, four-year-olds, all the way up to maybe six, seven years old, even eight. And now through the literacy, there's where we gain more knowledge. So as we start looking at the book, we're going to be looking at the uh, life cycle of the ladybug. And here again, they're going to see the egg. The ladybug eggs are yellow. This one is a little bit yellow. Uh, and then as they hatch, now they look like a little worm. Just like the one we have here, the larva. It goes into a little, looks like a little worm. So it continues going on and demonstrating another life cycle of a different insect. So the children will be able to see hey, it still goes through the same stages, the egg, the, lar the larva, the pupa, and then the, finally the insect. So through literacy, the children get to see more, gain more information. They get to see 
another way of being demonstrated the same lesson that we just demonstrated to them and that they were involved with. From the literacy, we gain more knowledge because we can continue to add it. As we read more things here, we'll continue to add more knowledge that we've gained from this. From here, let's go into our technology. You can either use the iPad, the laptops, PCs, whatever you have around, either your classroom or children may have. Uh, so what would be the most important uh, word that they could use on their search engine today? Probably the insect, or they can even type life cycle of insects. They can even type that in, or life cycle of a beetle, or they could even type Mealworms, mealworms, they can even type that word in there, M-E-A-L, mealworm, H-W-O-R-M. They can even type this whole word on their computer, and when they're typing the words, looking at each letter and looking for that letter on their keyboard, it's fascinating. That's another way of connecting to print and to uh, letter recognition. And finally, my final question is, tell, share with the class one thing you learned about the life cycle of the insect. One thing you learned. And quickly, I go around all the children and ask them one thing you learned about the life cycle of the insect. This concludes our demonstration lesson on day three on insects.